Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 1402, part two. Hey, if you want to download this Excel workbook, Excel Magic Trick 1402, part two and three, start or the finished file so you can follow along. Click on the link below the video. Hey, back in Excel Magic Trick 1402, we saw how to create a formula to put a check mark in a cell if the number is greater than zero. But in this video, we want to see how to do it without the character function. Now, you definitely want to go and watch this video because I talk about ASCII characters. And ASCII characters are quite convenient. In that video, we saw the ASCII character 252 was a check mark. So we actually use the character function with 252 to generate the check here. But Horace and Adrian at YouTube in the comment section gave us two other ways to do this. Now, Horace pointed out there's actually keyboards for all of the ASCII characters. And to get 252, you have to do this keyboard. So let's try that one first. Hey, we have to put one of two things in every cell, either show nothing, because that's not greater than 0, or a check mark because that is greater than zero. So we're going to use the if function. Our logical test will say, hey, relative cell reference, please tell me when you are greater than zero. Now notice that comes out true or false, comma. Value if true means, hey, what do you want me to put in the cell if it's true? We do double quotes. And now we're going to try this keyboard. Now ASCII character keyboards require that you hold all throughout the entire keyboard. But then on the number pad in sequence, you type 0, 2, 5, 2. So let's try it. I'm holding down Alt. And now on the number pad, 0, 2, 5, 2. When I let go of Alt, boom, the character jumps in. Now I'm going to end double quote. Now that's not a check mark. But we'll see that when we apply, when we apply Wingdings font, that turns into a check mark comma. Now the value of false, that's what we want to put in the cell when this comes out false. Well, we want to show nothing, so we use a zero length text string. Double quote, double quote. That's the syntax for show nothing. And that's our formula. Close parentheses, Control Enter, double click and send it down. Now we go up to font. I'm going to type a W to jump down to the W's and select Wingdings, and there are our check marks. Now, Adrian says he's been doing this for years. Watch this. I'm just going to, whoa, there is the formula shown with Wingdings. But watch this. I'm going to copy it in Edit Mode, Control-C, Escape, and then put this cell in Edit Mode, Control-V. There it is. Now I'm simply going to replace this with capital P. Now when I Control Enter, double click and send it down, now I go up and instead of font, I'm going to type a W, Wingdings. We use Wingdings 2. And check that out. Man, I love hanging out on our online Excel team. Thanks to Horace and Adrian for these two awesome solutions. We'll see you next video, which is part three. We'll see how to do this in Power Query. All right, we'll see you next video.